Oh, what it do? It's your boy Mero back again with another reaction. Before we hop into it, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Check out my SoundCloud on all my social media in the description box. Let's hop into it. Today we got Queen Herbie with Juice, official music video. Um, I'm not too familiar with Queen Herbie's like solo music. I know she's a female rapper. Um, I think she can sing as well. Um, she has like a lot of songs, a lot of videos. I've seen maybe like one or two. So I know she's very creative. Um, and then I also am very familiar with her past group, uh, Carmen. She was like, I don't know if she's still in that same relationship. I think she was married and her and her husband, um, she was like the rapper singer and then her husband was like the producer, something like that. So I guess they like broke, well, I won't say broke up, but I guess like they stopped doing the band and then she, um, she's now like solo so i'm curious to see what this is gonna give i seen like the thumbnail is giving like colors melanin you know so i'm like okay she you know let's i don't know i'm curious yeah this is giving me fanta powerpuff girls what the heck yes Oh yeah, I forgot. She's the one that did the, um, she really got popping. I think the way she even got discovered, cause her and her dude, they had that group Carmen, but before they, they went viral online before they even got signed. And I think it was because she was rapping to that Chris Brown and Busta Rhymes. Look at me now, look at me, I'm getting paper. And then that song Busta Rhymes is like, like rapping super fast. And I think she rapped that. Like she's a really good rapper. Okay, and as much as I appreciate that rapid fire flow, I love Twist the Bone Thug and Harmony. And I feel like people, like the fast, super fast flows like that were very popular back in the day. It's not popular anymore like that. Um, and as much as I think that that's so dope and you have to have so much talent to do that, I just think in music, in like songs, I, it to me, it's just kind of unnecessary, especially in a song where you're trying to like get people to kind of like sing along to and stuff. Because most people aren't going to be able to sing along to the verse. So then, you know, so you kind of lose people with that. The singing is very like Destiny's Child 2000s, early 2000s. Yeah, it's definitely giving me like, like Bills was Bills vibe, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's clearly independent. She's basically saying she the one hit wonder because like they had that one. So I, to be honest, I don't even know what the one hit was, but. They had that moment, basically, and so that's what they're saying. But she's saying, like, nah, like, you've seen me, like, a lot over the years. You've seen me a lot. And I have. I've seen her, like, pop up here and there and stuff like that. Um, I, she's consistent. I just feel like, for some reason, it's not sticking or something. Because I've seen her her videos pop up on, like, my, my YouTube suggestions and things like that. But I never hear anybody talking about her. Like, not nobody I know. Like, okay, like, it's like, I get it, and it's the fact that she's doing it again. Ah, why? Like, I know you can do that. That's your brand. Like, we, we rap. We got it. But I'm like, for song making 
it's not always the best for song making, like, especially nowadays. It's way different than, like, and I don't know. This, mm -mm. it's not bad, but it's like, I just would have preferred her not to do that, though. This beat is knocking in. I like the melody of it. See, like, I can't even rap along, and I don't care enough to, like, go look up the lyrics. It's too many. It's too wordy for me. See? I like this. It's better than everything she just did. Not with the young twerk B at the end, okay? I was not expecting that. And these girls in these Fanta outfits and these bobs, I'm weak. Yes. I want her, like. Yes. Wait. She has the voice and the talent and the creativity and everything like that. I think she definitely, like, should lead with the singing, though, because that'll be, dip like, if she definitely gave us, like, 90s R&B, because this, that, the singing on this is giving me early 2000s, 90s R&B. So she gives us, like, that, leads with that, and then in the songs, like, she raps in the songs. That'll be fire. I think that is something that she should definitely consider because the singing parts are, even though her rapping is stellar, uh, the singing parts is what's catching me. This is definitely 90s dance R&B. Also reminds me of, um, who does this? Who does that type of singing style? Like the jazzy type of house R&B music voice. Azalea Banks. Azalea Banks. When she sings, she sings like that as well. And it's she's not the originator of that. It's definitely like a style from, you know, like I said, like the 90s, whatever. But she's the Azalea Banks and maybe her are the only two people I've heard do it in like present time. So that's pretty neat. Like I said, I feel like she should definitely lean into like being more vocal heavy and then just sprinkling the raps in there, you know? Um, but this is, this is pretty cute. I like this. And she's goofy and has a lot of personality and stuff, you know? It's like... It's like if, um... If Fergie can happen, why can't Queen Herbie happen? Because essentially, that's... She's... That's Fergie of the... 2021, you know? It's the same shit, essentially. Um, creativity... Like, she'll dance and stuff like that, do choreo, looks, raps, and sings, and gives you, like, a, you know, like, she's, like, a white girl, but she gives you, like, flavor. Like, she makes, like, urban-esque music, you know? So, I don't know. I feel like it's, she's, like, that one thing away from popping because she has all the ingredients. But, yeah, if you like that, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Check out my SoundCloud on my social media in the description box. I'll see you on the next one.